So if we have something like this, we got a rectangle or an in inverted <coughs> T-section. That's the y-axis. We can take this as x-axis point is going to be origin. Then the lens here, the total is 3 inch on this, 3 inch on this side. <coughs> we have 2 inches here. And this height is taken as 6 inches. The thickness of the T is taken as so taking one half an inch and one half an inch. So the way this is drawn, again, you're looking at this cross section. You safely say that the Z coordinate will be zero. Then another thing we notice is that the Y axis divides the whole cross section into middle, which means the centroid for this has to be on the y-axis. And if it's on the y-axis, you can safely say that x coordinate will also be zero. And the, the rationale behind that will be that y-axis is axis of symmetry. <coughs> so that leaves us with only one coordinate, that is the y coordinate. And for finding the y coordinate, I could take 280, I could take the bottom rectangle here. You call this as area one. Then we take the top rectangle and let's call this as area two. So you divide the actual T section into two sections and those are two happen to be in this case as rectangles. And let's make a small table. So this one has only two components, so we call this as rectangle one. This one we call this as rectangle two. Then the first column is the areas. In this case, that's going to be in inch square. The second column could be y i bar, the centroids of those areas. And then the last column here is going to be the product of a i and y i. This is going to be an inch. This is going to be in inch cube. Now, for the first rectangle, total width is 6, height is 2, so the area by itself is going to be 12. Then we need to locate its centroid, and that should be at the middle of this. That means somewhere here. Let's call this as C1. The C1 is going to be half of this, that's one, the y part was zero. <coughs> so we take this as one. So that's for the first area. <coughs> then for this rectangle, the centroid should be at the half of this. That means you're looking at three inch on the side and three inch on the side. Somewhere here we're gonna have C2. <coughs> Again, I'm so the here the x coordinate was 0, y coordinate was 1. Now on C2 the same thing, the x coordinate is 0, the y coordinate is going to be a distance going from here up to here, plus 3, and the additional distance 2, or 5. So the area by itself is 6, width is 1, so that's 6, and the coordinates, the y is then we take the product. This 12 
times 1 is 12, 6 times 5 is 30. We add everything here, that's going to be sum of the areas, and that's really the total area in this case, and that's 18. Then we sum this column, that's 42, and that's the sum of yi bar and ai, which means your y coordinate which is going to be a summation over yi bar ai divided by summation ai, that's 42 over 18, and that becomes, let's say, 7 over 3, and that's going to be in inch. So again, I repeat the method. The method is fairly straightforward. The given area was broken into subcomponents so that the, I mean, you should be able to find the areas for subcomponent and its own center.